Welcome back to My Girlfriend Made Me Watch It. Honest reviews from a guy who would much rather be watching 80s action flicks. Today I'm reviewing Fifty Shades Freed, the third part in an excellent series about the dangers of dating a sociopath. That is the point of it, right? It's not supposed to be a romance series, is it? I suppose I should say spoiler warning, but come on, who's actually watching this series for the plot? Fifty Shades Freed is the continuing story of Anastasia Steele and Christian Grey. Christian is a billionaire who wants to make Anna his sex slave and dominate her personal life, while Anna wants to do what all women want, marry a billionaire and change him. But really, the series is a soft court porn with a lifetime plot and a really big budget. And almost penis. Like, a lot of it. What concerns me is how Anna wants to marry Christian, despite the fact that he's less this Christian and more like this Christian. Okay, so maybe he's not a serial killer, but he does call this his playroom. He's also manipulative, controlling, and has a creepy habit of touching her while she sleeps. Plus, in Fifty Shades Freed, there's an entire plotline where Christian finds Anna in a dangerous situation because he has GPS tracking on her phone, and nobody thinks that's weird. And just when you think Christian might do something normal... Take off your panties. So when my girlfriend says she's excited to see this movie, what am I supposed to learn from this? All I got was, I guess my girlfriend really does want a creep. But you know, the right creep. See, if a guy does something creepy and he looks like this, that's a no. He falls right on the how dare he level. But if he looks like this, then he gets upgraded to, I can probably change him. But when you add this, and this, maybe some of these, and this, and suddenly it's, how many human rights do I have to give up to make this happen? Okay, I get it. This is supposed to be an escapist fantasy. But it escapes reality so fast, it becomes dangerously delusional. Christian is so great at business because he has a huge lack of attention span. And in Fifty Shades Darker, Anna goes from assistant to editor simply because of this comment. His online audience is in the 18 to 24 demographic, and those are exactly the readers that we should be chasing. Um, I mean, I can show you the stats. I really, I think he's worth taking a risk on. She basically said buzzword, buzzword business books and got promoted for it. In Fifty Shades Freed, they don't even try to pretend this makes sense. She just gets back from her honeymoon and discovers, oh, I've been promoted again. Overall, if you want to turn off your brain for a bit and let someone else drive, this movie can be fun. But for everyone else, you may have a different reason to bring out the blindfold. Da -da -da -dun -dun -da -dun. Thank you so much for checking out my video. So what did you all learn from this movie? Were you the one dragged along or did you do the dragging? Tell me all about it in the comments and I'll see you all next time on My Girlfriend Made Me Watch It.